Hello, my friends, and welcome back to I Love Lunches. I'm Jennifer, and for today, I have another what's for dinner, and it's going to be three what's for dinner ideas. My husband's also going to share a recipe. So I'm really excited about that. This is what you're going to need for your first recipe, but it's going to be something so fresh and so cool for the summer. And this video is going to be so very special because it's going to be a collaboration with one of my good friends here named Miranda from Living Life in the Mom Lane. She's so amazing. She does a lot of the same things that I do. She does a lot of grocery hauls, shop with me. She also does what's for dinner which is amazing i love to watch her videos and i love to watch her grocery hauls and she has been a friend to me here on youtube so i really appreciate that you're really going to love her channel a whole bunch and if you're before, coming from around that channel so you're always like to my say channel, welcome welcome over my friend and say i hope hello. you consider staying a while that will mean so much to me if you hit the subscribe button now i'm going to be making a salad that is so amazing and it's so good all you're going to need is some garlic red onion and english english cucumbers if you don't have english cucumbers you can just use regular cucumbers i'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil to my garlic and also some poppy seeds and i'm gonna add one tablespoon of that one tablespoon of dijon mustard and some garlic powder and of course some salt and you can add as much or as little salt as you like and also some lemon juice the recipe did not call for lemon juice but i thought it would just be a little bit better if you add lemon juice i always say that recipes are just like a blueprint and you can just do the rest and add your own little twist to it i'm gonna get some cherry tomatoes this recipe really does remind me of like a greek salad you're gonna get your english cucumbers and you're gonna slice those up in half and you probably heard the coffee machine and you're just gonna slice those up and i'm gonna add it to my bowl and this recipe is so simple so easy and it's like not that many ingredients so that's the best part about it and add your tomatoes and just pour your sauce right over top and i think this would go really really good if you have like some feta cheese it would be super yummalicious so you're just gonna mix that all up and this is basically the salad it's really simple to make and it's so refreshing especially for the summer so this is perfect and it's so refreshing it's so yum delicious and i'm going to pair this salad up with some pasta and i like to make my pasta in a slow cooker so what i do early in the morning i put my pasta sauce and i let it cook for maybe an hour or two and i'm going to add some italian seasoning and i'm also going to add some parsley and one bay leaf and i let that simmer for a while because i have acid reflux and i like to cook a lot of that acid out well that's what i believe so all I'm going to do is let that cook for a while and I'm going to get my parmigiano mushrooms and I'm going to saute them and add those back to the pan with my meatballs and I just put those in the oven and let them get nice and brown and I normally do like to cook them in the broiler and just let them get brown because they're going to cook in the sauce anyways and for my noodles i always add butter to my noodles because i don't like them to stick together i don't know if you guys do that if you add butter to your noodles please comment down below and this is what it looks like our meatballs and our pasta in our salad and i just like to add fresh parmesan cheese now my husband is going to be cooking some baked beans here but these are not going to be just regular baked beans they're going to be semi-sweet and they're going to be so good oh my goodness i really did love these she, he used pinto beans and kennel beans white kennel beans and pinto beans he cooked some bacon down he did drain the oil off and he's adding two peaches and the peaches really did give it such an amazing flavor i really do love that and he drained it off the beans and rinsed them out and added all four of the beans back into the pan he's gonna use some um maple syrup and i believe he went with a half a cup of that so red wine vegener and he put two tablespoons of red wine vegener a cup and one third of barbecue sauce there's a little extra there <laughs> 
So he just added that right in there and also some paprika and some chili powder as well. And I'm going to have the link down below for the recipe because I didn't make it. My husband did. I want to make sure that we get all the measurements correctly and one teaspoon of salt and also some fresh ground pepper, some Dijon mustard. These beans were so good and I've been saying make some white beans, make some beans, make some beans and oh my goodness they were so good. So he took the rest of the barbecue sauce and just added a little bit of water, gave it a shake and added in to the beans. These beans were so good because they were sweet and they were just so perfect and he put those in the oven as well. 350 degrees for like 30 minutes and if you ever forget to take your chicken out put it in the instant pot so i put mine in the instant pot with some mckernick barbecue seasoning some water and i put that in the instant pot for 30 minutes and this is frozen and this is what it looks like my husband did take a piece out to make some barbecue sliders he wanted to eat barbecue sliders with that. This is what the beans look like. They're delicious. So I'm just going to get my skillet and I'm going to add some butter and add my frozen corn. I love to use frozen corn, some bouillon seasoning, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. And I'm just going to mix that up. And I really do love to use frozen corn. And you can add some paprika just for a little something extra. I decided to go with some buffalo sauce for my corn because I thought it would be really good. Now I'm just going to plate me some. I made my husband plate and he had some beans, corn, and sliders. And I'm just going to have mine with a piece of chicken. Oh my goodness, I'm going to make some chicken wings. And all I'm going to do, I just wash them and pat dry them i'm gonna go with some mechanic mechanic seasoning um barbecue seasoning so good it's no salt added we're gonna grow these and i'm gonna make some coleslaw this is not gonna be your regular coleslaw i always been making my coleslaw just like this i add onions or not onions i add tomatoes and some cucumbers and i also add some avocados and i'm gonna be making tons of tomatoes here because i'm also making a salsa as well and i'm gonna cut my cucumbers into fours but i like to take off the middle seeds because i don't like to add that in there and i'm gonna also go with our sauce for our coleslaw and all it is is salt pepper and some um mayonnaise and what i like to do i like to make it on the side and just add it on top just so all of the flavors can be combined combined and it will be nice and even i'm gonna have to transfer this over because uh, yeah it's a little bit too small so i just transfer it into something bigger i added the sauce right over top and just mix it up and this is really really good i really love this coleslaw it's my favorite coleslaw to make and to this i'm also going to make some potatoes so all i'm going to do with my potatoes is i'm going to slice them up all i did was just grab some butter and our buffalo sauce and put that in the microwave for our chicken wings so good so good and for my potatoes i just got a little bit of water and i let them boil for five minutes to get them a little bit soft because we're gonna fry them i add our sauce to the chicken wings and now i'm gonna get our potatoes and deep fry them so it's really really good this way i really do enjoy it i really do hope that you enjoy this video and please head over and say hello and subscribe to Miranda's channel. She really is a lovely person and I really do enjoy her videos so much. And if you're new to my channel, please consider staying a while and I'll see you guys soon.